Thanks, Carlos. Uh, we'll start off with Chris McCoskey from the Detroit News. Hi, Dave. Hey, thanks for doing this. No problem, Chris. How you doing? Good, man. You attract a big crowd on these things. Well, it's exciting news. It is exciting news. You mentioned in your um, in your in the release today that you the, the moving um, the designation for Western Michigan up to the advance day was important for the uh, efficiency of the organization. Can you maybe go into that a little bit more? Is that you talking logistics? Or are you talking something deeper than that? Well, uh, I think the, the first thing is just the, the fantastic setup uh, in West Michigan in regards to uh, the fan support, um, the way the league structured, a uh, tremendous front office uh, that has been you know, highly successful for a lot of years. So we just think that experience is, is a real, real good one that our players will benefit from it. And particularly as they lead, hopefully into double A. Um, as you mentioned, there are some benefits from a efficiency standpoint, whether it be player moves or staff travel, that type of stuff as well. But primarily, uh, the type of fan base and, and the overall experience at West Michigan, we think, is uh, second to none. And is is it equally as important to keep the lower levels um, of your organization and the development? down in Florida where they're, they're all kind of grouped together now too in one area? Is that, is that part of it? Uh, certainly the, the geographic part of it does make sense. Um, obviously to have uh, the, the Gulf Coast League extended program and then the Gulf Coast League then move into what now will be the Flying Tigers at the, the lower A um, makes life a lot easier in a lot of ways as I mentioned with the travel and the player moves and that sort of stuff. And then Geographically, as you move to the north to to go from, say, West Michigan to Erie, Toledo, Detroit, as you move up the ladder, um, just makes sense as well. I mean, if you think back, which, you know, many of us live some of that, where you're, you're going from, say, extended or Gulf Coast, uh, where previously we're going to West Michigan, come back to Lakeland, then going to Erie, right. uh, certainly makes a lot more sense geographically. But, uh, you know, to highlight the 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 situation at West Michigan is such a good one that uh, I think our players will benefit from it um, to a great degree. Great. Thanks again, Dave. Thanks, Chris. Uh, next, we'll go to Matt Shepard. Uh, Dave, happy holidays to you and your family. Uh, how, how much can we read into um, Erie being part of this uh, constructional chart and how important is it for Erie to stay on board during these times? Well, we, we're very happy with the uh, the Erie affiliate and uh, uh, the people there and particularly the ownership group has done a tremendous job in uh, continuing to work at improving the facility and the experience. And uh, we've got a great relationship with them and are really happy to, um, you know, invite them to be part of the player development system with the Tigers. So uh, it works out very well, um, you know, just geographically, we've been very happy with the improvements and, and the commitment. So, um, you know, we feel like it's a win-win for both of us. Dave, thanks. Thanks, Shep. Uh, next, we'll go to Jason Beck from MLB.com. Yeah, hey, Dave, thanks for doing this. I was wondering, you know, kind of piggybacking off what, what Shep was talking about, how important were the renovations to the ballpark and the facilities in Erie for retaining the affiliation and how much benefit, I guess, um, what exactly with those upgrades, how is that going to benefit the players from a developmental standpoint? What all goes into those upgrades that's going to help in terms of uh, players? Well, I think, uh, you know, the commitment that uh, the Erie ownership group um, has shown certainly helped solidify a good situation for us in Erie. Um, I would say not only their improvements to the overall fan experience that, that we've seen from the, um, the architectural drawings and even some pictures more recently of the work being done, but there's uh, significant improvements on for the development uh, on the player side as well. It'll be you know clubhouses, uh, lunch rooms, weight rooms, training rooms that are being expanded, uh, the indoor batting tunnel uh, will be improved uh, along with some other areas around the ballpark that will help in the player development models. So uh, be a much better experience. And, uh, you know, we've greatly appreciated 
Erie and their partners uh, stepping up to do these. And with West Michigan and Lakeland flipping between high A and low A, will that impact at all how you guys handle where some prospects start out and also how you time some of their promotions, maybe in season? Now I'm just thinking, that, you know, there, there's been more than a few instances where you guys have started out some pitchers, especially in Lakeland, so that they're, they stay in the warm weather and then go up north when the uh, weather warms up around here. And on the flip side, there's been some, you know, I can remember some mid-season or mid-summer promotions from West Michigan to Lakeland where maybe guys get down to Lakeland and if there's bad weather in August, they end up not getting a whole lot of playing time there because there's so many rainouts. Well, uh, I don't know how, how much really went into that or will go into it. I mean, you're considering everything when you're um, evaluating players and trying to make decisions as to when uh, there are promotions. So um, are there parts of that, yeah, that you consider? Certainly the, the weather is a part of that, health of players, things like that that do come into it. But, uh, you know, you're just going to have to consider those things that it's just switched up and take that into account. But it's not the major piece by any means in regards to uh, – trying to figure out where players should be and placing them and what you think are the right spots. It's certainly a, a minor piece and something along with many other things that you consider. At what point did you guys realize or, or decide that Uri was safe uh, in terms of retaining the, the double A designation? Well, we, we have a very good relationship with Uri and, and have always felt strong about uh, the commitment from ownership and, um, our situation there and, you know, looking at, as we've said, geographically, it fits in very well, plus the commitment that they've made, made along with, you know, their partners that have helped them out along the way. So uh, we've been very comfortable with, with Erie's commitment and the continued improvement to our uh, continued uh, um, strengthening their commitment, if you will, as time's gone on here and uh, just continue to improve the ballpark for both fans and the experience there, but also the player development experience as well. Great, thanks Dave. Anytime, Jason. Next we'll go to Seth Wells from Wood TV. Hey David, I was curious with the, the flip between West Michigan and Lakeland, will there be um, staff changes where the managers be switching as well? Will Brian Payne be going down to Lakeland so on and so forth? Yeah, that's something we're talking about internally as, as this is kind of uh, unfolding and uh, we'll be looking to put out a release as we normally do in regards to staff assignments at some time coming up soon, but uh, nothing set in stone at this point. Thank you. All right. Uh, next we'll go to Cody Stavenhagen from The Athletic. Hey, Dave. Uh, just what do you think is the impact of losing short season affiliates and how will that impact uh, how you guys handle young players or, or, you know, how you manage them maybe after they're drafted and whatnot? Well, it's uh, I think overall it's going to be a very much a positive as to how things are, are going to be aligned moving forward. I think it's better for the player development system, um, you know, how it all lines up in, in the first year in particular, uh, you know, will will be. Um, making adjustments as necessary, but, uh, you know, we've got four strong affiliates. Uh, we'll have uh, better facilities overall, better working environments. Um, I think it'll benefit the players in, in a very positive way all across the board. So um, I think, um, you know, in general, the whole industry is looking forward to it. And I think with things set up as they are, uh, we've got, of course, the Gulf Coast League that'll be in play at that point, And then Moving on to uh, Lakeland, West Michigan, I, I see it being a, a real positive overall. All right, thank you. All right, if uh, anyone else has any questions, just put a note in the uh, in the chat box. Uh, otherwise, it looks like that might be all we have. All right. Uh, thanks, Dave, for your time, and thanks to everyone for having on. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, folks. Happy holidays. Same to you.